Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today I want to have a look at an application called Vocalive, and this is the one that is recommended for use with the iRig microphone. I have one of these iRig microphones, so I decided I'd get my hands on it. And it is quite a nice little application. It does quite a few different things, but there are one or two things in there that are kind of a bit weird as well. So let's get in there and have a look and see what we can do. Well, you've got this part of it here, which is the uh, part where you choose the stomp boxes, where you choose what sort of effects you want to add. We've got the comp on there, the chorus and the reverb on this particular classic chain preset. So if I change the preset to something else, like this one here, the 50, then you see we've got para EQ, delay and reverb. So you've got all sorts of things happening here. So over on this uh, left hand part of it, we've got the different categories. So we've got effects where we can go for Fat Frog, Dizzy Duck and a Ghost. I'll put a couple of these into the recording so you can get an idea what these different things sound like. So okay, so you choose your different uh, categories there. So maybe you want to go for something that's extreme. So maybe you want to go for a nasty choir or want to go for a sub. And what else have we got? Now, this one here is one that I made myself. So you can actually sort of create your own and save them and give them names, your own presets. So that's quite good. If you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. So that's that part of it where you're choosing the sort of sounds that you want. And if you want to, you can actually save those uh, setups as you got because for instance on this one here with the reverb I might decide that I want to have less reverb or more reverb I'm just moving my finger up and down on the screen on the iPad now and it's changing the level of the uh, reverb and I can do that the same with the delay with just moving up and down and this here with a morph it's set for moving with X at the moment so I can move that to the left or to the right or if I click on the Y, I can move it up and down on there as well. And that will change the different sort of effects that you get from this specific sound that you've created using these various boxes. So you can put four different stomp boxes on there. And if I tap on this one here at the top, you can see that we've got delay, chorus, compressor, parametric EQ, reverb, and filter, phaser, and all these ones here. So you can choose all of those to put whichever one that you want in there. So for instance, you might want to just put the de in there. So again, this will also change the effects, and I think it also makes a difference to which order you have these effects in there as well. So you might, for instance, want to have the uh, the DSer in here first. So then you might want to have, put another one in there in a different place and get different effects. You've got it all set up with the way that you want to record it. So the next thing to do is to go to the recorder, and in the recorder, press this button down the bottom here. We've got our multi-track recorder. It's multi-track if you've bought the extra multi-track part of it. So we've got a possible of eight tracks there, and you have to pay extra to do it. So if I tap on one of these here, I have to purchase a full eight-track recorder to be able to carry on with it. I don't need eight tracks, so I'm just going to stick with the one. And when I'm ready to start recording with this here, all I've got to do is to click on the record button, and now it's going to start a recording. Master Effects, again, if you want to use Master Effects, you have to uh, pay for the 8-track recorder to do that. It's only uh, like 4 euros and something, maybe 4 or 5 euros. So it's not a terrible, huge amount of money, but uh, all the same, why pay for it uh, if it's uh, more than you require. Okay, another thing that I think is weird with this here is we've got this space up in the top right-hand corner here, which has got something that looks like where you'd put a tape in. Now, why on earth have they done that? This is not a tape recorder, this is a digital recorder. Why do we need something that looks like a tape thing here? It doesn't even function. Tap on it and nothing happens, apart from the opportunity to rename it. And that's just plain ridiculous, that is. So why have that there? That's what I want to know. So you can turn the effects on and off with that button there. Let's go through the tools that we've got here. We've got a vocal trainer. So with this vocal trainer, that's in the key of C. And we've got some demos, so let's click on play. The architects of time are calling me. So obviously the idea is that you um, sing along to those there and try and repeat and uh, do the same sort of sounds as they're making in the audio demo. I can't imagine what else they're there for, but still. Okay, so another thing you can do is go to this song one here and you could bring a song into this that is a track that is uh, just the instruments alone and you could sing over the top of it. You could jam along with it. So that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? And then you can loop it or edit it. So, so if you've got this bounce thing here come up there, what you can do is you can um, bounce a number of tracks into one single track and then you can start working on other tracks over the top of that then after that. So 
So there you go, this is the application that uh, you can use for recording stuff with your iRig microphone. And as I say, I'm not too sure about it. I think it's much better if you want something simple to use something else. And there's another application I'd like to look at, which is called Twisted Wave. But to buy it is about €9. Euros. I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money on a recording app when I've got other recording apps that do other things for me as well. So, so now I'm doing some recording and the first one to use is the Classic Chain, which is in the lead section of this one here. And now we're going to move on to the 50 sound. Yeah. And this, this is, is the 50, 50 sound. sound. Hello, Hello there, how, how are you doing? doing? Okay, so now this is the soft chorus. As we see, you've got some different changes there. So this is the upper third, fifth and seventh. And we've got also the lower fourth and upper octave. This is the brother and sister. How about that then? We'll move on to the extreme and the categories. This is the never end, end. never end, never end, never end. Obviously, with lots of echo. This is a cavern. Sad mosquito. Or maybe just got a cold. Or a stupid alien. 80s rock star. Yay! And now I'm talking like a nerd. This one is called the female DSer. So you don't have to be female to use it. Doesn't sound too bad at all, really, does it? So there you go, there's a few different things that you can get out of this uh, Vocal Live, and it's quite interesting what you can come up with. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there, and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.